Hi everybody, welcome to Armour Reforger on the Xbox and in this video I'm going to try and explain a little bit how the uh, little bit about how the inventory system <laughs> works and how to use the quick bar as well so that you can swap between items reasonably quickly. However, this is early days for Armour Reforger, especially on Xbox. And I wouldn't be surprised if the changes, hopefully the the chaps and chapesses from the DayZ team will come over to Armoury Forge and say, no, 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 you don't want to do it like that. You want to do it like this. So here I am. I've, uh, I'm in the Games Master Editor. And so here is a pile of goodies. So if I open this up, you'll see we've got the inventory screen now. So on the left is what's near us. So what's in that box could be what's on the floor. And then in the middle, in this bar here that goes from my helmet, if you uh, forgive the phrase, down to where my watch is, you can see we've got um, the items that are physically on our body. And then on the right hand side, we've got the weapons we're carrying, um, what's in our blouse, in our shirt, what's in our trousers, what's in our um, uh, webbing, and what's in or on our backpack. Now, at the moment, you can carry way too much stuff as well. I've got three laws in my backpack, <laughs> which, is a, which is a bit nutty. So first off, how do you, how do you pick stuff up? Well, it kind of it, you have to kind of press uh, two buttons to kind of get started. So if you wanted to pick something up from this um, box that's on the left, we can use RB um, and LB to kind of cycle through what's in the box. Then when we want to pick something up, we press A to go into the box. Um, and then we can navigate around with our D-pad to say, actually, I tell you what, I wouldn't mind having another smoke grenade. And then we press X to pick it up. And that will then get fired across into our inventory. So it's, it's ended up down here, as you can see like that. Now, one, once, once things are in um, your inventory, you can move them around. In fact, if we just come out of it, you, 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 by uh, selecting them. But often you'll find that you'll have to select the particular part of your clothing that you're in first. So if we want to move that smoke grenade, First, we have to press A to select the backpack. And then we can use our D-pad to pick up the grenade. Uh, and we press A. And now we could move that, say, into our blouse. And that then appears there. Um, this is very simplified compared to, for example, DayZ, where you've got to like play Tetris <laughs> every time you do it. Or you've got to think about the weight involved. Um, now, we do have to think about the weight involved here, but it's not quite as complicated. So that's kind of how you move things around. So the next thing is what you can see at the bottom of the screen, which is the quick bar. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come out of this first, just to kind of show you how the quick bar works, because it's a bit odd. So when you want to access your different items, you press and hold the button on your controller that has the two little boxes on it. It's kind of up and to the right a bit above your left stick. You press and hold it like that, and your quick bar is now um, exposed. And keep holding on it. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to stay with me with this one. And then to navigate between the different things, there's two ways of doing it. You can use your shoulder button, so RB and LB, you know, the, the bumpers that are above your triggers, to go backwards and forwards. And then when you release um, that button, the little button that's got the two rectangles on, your character will then pick up the thing that you've wanted, and then you can do something with it. Um, so let's do that again. So, so you press and hold the little button with the two squares on, and then you can use your shoulder buttons to go left and right to pick up the, the various items. And your um, oh, that didn't <laughs> he didn't do it then, did he? Let's uh, let's put a rifle on our shoulder. Let's pick up the rifle. Okay, so that kind of caught. Up. We had a bit of lag there, didn't we? So let's do that again. So can I have the rifle, please? There we go. So we're going to swap to the rifle, and now, we, now we've got the rifle. So that's the slow way of doing it. Now, also, if you press and hold the button with the two little squares on that's up and right a bit from your left stick, you can, you'll can you notice that some of the items have got icons next to them. Some of them are on your D-pad. So you can see my torch is on up on my D-pad. My binoculars are down on my D-pad. My map is left on the D-pad, and my compass is right on the D-pad. And then to change to my weapon, we've got X, Y, and then my smoke grenade is A. So what I can do within the um, within the, the time that I have the quick bar up, if I press uh, X 
and release, I will then get my M16 up. If I press and hold that button with the two little squares in up and right a bit from your left stick, I press A, that will then select that smoke grenade. If I press and hold the quick bar and then press Y, we'll go back to the M16. And if I press and hold the quick bar and press X, go and do it, we'll get back <laughs> to my sniper rifle. Now, the D-pad ones, you don't have to press and hold the quick bar to, to access them. You just press, for example, right or left or up and down on your D-pad to access those things. Um, there we go. You can kind of see that. Um, however, if you do have your quick um, bar up, if you press up and down on the D-pad, it will do it then as well. Okay, so let's just go over that one more time because I know it's a little bit complicated. So when you want to change your weapons, you press and hold okay, the uh, little button with the two squares on that's up and right a bit from your uh, left stick. And then you can either use your RB and LB to go backwards and forwards to select the items. Like so. Or... While you've got your that, that the, your quick bar selected, you could press like X, Y, or A, um, or up, down, left, and right on your D-pad, or you can just use your D-pad when you're um, uh, when you're just standing there. Actually, and if you press the trigger, if you've got one of your weapons uh, kind of out, then uh, he'll pull your weapon out. Now I know that's a little bit complicated, but what I highly recommend you is go into the Games Master and just have a play around playing around with that um, and swapping between things because it you know it is a little bit complicated but once you kind of get used to it it's not as bad as as you think it is and actually sometimes just using the um the quick bar and then your r and b um, can be a very effective way of swapping between things okay so hopefully i've got you more ready for the um the battlefield now so that you can um, go out there and uh, kick some ass <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're slowly understanding a little bit more about how this game works it's little idiosyncrasies and as i say this game is uh, it is in game preview it is a beta it is an early access and so i'll probably i think there'll be some more options will uh, will come about um before too long um so that things like this um can be a little bit easier to use than they are at the moment okay so that's enough for me if you've enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i will see you again soon